TD, RSO, channel 5. TD on 5. Roger, just want to give you an updated status. We did take a quick look at what potentially rotating north would do to the probability of impact and actually made it a little bit worse. We're pulling in additional ships from the north into the calculation. So the other option, uh, we're going ahead and sending the radar aircraft back into the area. Um, we're going to need a little bit more daylight perhaps, uh, but hopefully he can get a good uh, look on the vessel to get us a good ship size. We're thinking that if we can get a relatively small ship size out of it, then We'll be just in on probabilities. We'll keep you posted. Okay, copy. And just so I understand, both aircraft are currently outside the hazard area? I believe um, 134 Romeo Lima is inbound. Okay, copy. RSO, this is MM11. This is RSO. Do you happen to have a timeline idea of when we may have that information? Uh, no, sir, I do not. We're working it. Okay. I'm on this PM on one. Go ahead, this is MM. Yeah, what's your what's your question, concern? Otherwise. Well, if we so basically we were looking at possibly having everything switched on and ready to where when we pick up the count, we may be able to migrate the count to less than uh, holding at T minus 15 from the NASROC point of view. But if we're holding longer than 30 minutes, we may be worried about temperature on a couple of our components. TD SRPO, this is MM on five. TD on five. SRPO, this is MM01. Can I get you on channel 5? MM SRPO on 5. Yes, so if we're, uh, if we're able to keep the hold below maybe 30 minutes, if we know what that time is, we can go ahead and power our systems up, get the unlock and everything, and Let's hold at T minus five. That way, when we're ready, we have less time to count. But that's up to you, you guys. Uh, hey, ma'am, this is this is TD. Let me let me um, get the SC on channel five. See um, ETA on identifying that target. It looks like the plane's inbound. Copy that. SC, this is TD on one. Can you join us on five, please? This is SC on five. Can you say again, please? Yeah, we were looking to have an update on uh, the current, current plan of action. Uh, it sounds like there's one target that's currently fouling the area. Um, it doesn't look like it matters which direction we rotate, or at least to the north. Um, the risk calc only gets worse. We have a plane inbound to identify the target. Hopefully that brings us uh, into the green. That's how I understand the current course of action. Can you update us if, if, if that's true, and um, if so, what is the ETA to identify that target? Yes, sir. That's a, a, a good uh, um, good update. We've got uh, 130 Romeo Lima inbound to Target 5 right now. It's going to do a, a quick visual observation, give us what information he can collect, and then exit the hazard area again. Okay, copy that. And to um, uh, what's the time frame on identifying and then exiting the hazard area? Uh, he's probably about um, four. Miles out. He's about four minutes out, and I can't answer how long it'll take him to get any visual observation data. And then to exit the hazard pattern, is that about another ten minutes or so? Yeah, he'd be able to get out of there pretty quickly, but I'd say ten minutes would be a good, good, good number. Okay. And do we have any other targets that are entering the hazard area that uh, could be a problem? We currently had a vessel, Sea King, that was uh, uh, heading into our hazard area, but it's been observed to have stopped and gone DIW, so we currently don't have any vessels that are creating a, uh, an incursion, at the, any further of an incursion right now. Okay, copy. RSO TD, can you join us on five? RSO's on five. 
Can you give us an update on the current wind waiting status? I'm waiting on my latest balloon report. Yeah, so I, uh, the SRPO on ML wants to, I guess, continue to count in the hopes that this boat is um, smaller than you anticipated to get the, sorry, I'm getting a feedback here, to get the um, analysis down so that we can launch. I understand. So, I mean, from where I said, I don't think that's an issue. Uh, we can probably try it if we get close to the T minus uh, 30 minutes where they're overheating, we can back off and go back to 30 minutes or whatever, it, how long it takes. Roger. I mean, so far the winds have been pretty steady and haven't been giving us too much trouble. Um, but if we're holding for longer than, you know, 15, 20 minutes, we may want another balloon so that even if we're green on the surveillance picture, we may need to recycle based on that if we continue to hold. Yeah. You were going to say something else, RPO? Yeah, I was just going to suggest that, that it's not a problem for us to go ahead and take it down to T minus five and stay on external um, with the hope that, that, that once this uh, clears up, we can uh, proceed without having to do 15 minutes versus the five. Copy. I think that's a plan that we can work. Uh, we can back it off if we wait too long. So Kyle recommend just go at 158, uh, pick it up on the half, and uh, go from there and hold that five. SRPO concurs for that. MM concurs. RSO concurs. If you could just give me a minute or two, I've got the latest uh, balloon report that I want to take a look at real quick. PLC. PLC green. PTM. 
KTM is green. ACS. ACS green. MM. MM is green. SRPO. SRPO is green. PM. PM is green. RSO. RSO is green. TD. TD is green. Check all, 158. All stations are responsible for reviewing the go do go criteria listed in the MOD. Only stations annotated with an asterisk in the previous step are permitted to call a hold. All other sites should be report read. Check 159. Check 160. 